Welcome to Nyabonyi Media and I'm known as Princess Precious Nyabonyi. Today, I'm Fika Gusiland and today I'm here with my best friend who I've been raised with. I'm with my grandpa, my mentor, my superhero and we'll get to know about his history and uh, the way back then about culture and all that. Um, good morning, grandpa. Good morning, my grandmother. Um, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Tell us your name. My name is Ezekiel Sukuru Maumba. Oh. How, <coughs> how many years are you? I'm um, only three years old. Uh, what is my position um, um, in here? Your position to me, you are my granddaughter. Oh. Because your mother, Ruth Osebe Sukuru, is my daughter. And therefore, you are my granddaughter. Oh. You understand? Yes. Um, where do you stay? I stay in a Matutu settlement scheme oh. in Yaronde village. Oh. Uh, how many children do you have? I have five daughters and one son. Oh. That makes six children. Sure. Uh, tell us where did you school in primary when you were a student? I learned at the Gesusu Primary School. Oh. I started from San Juan to 8. In 1958, I did my CAP examination. I passed very well. I got two distinctions, one credit, one pass. Wow. And I was, I was taken to Kisi High School. Wow. You must have been smart. Very well. Hmm. Tell us, uh, what is your education standard? I finished mm -hmm. on four, very successfully, in the Kisi High School in 1962. Mm -hmm. In 1963, I worked as an unqualified teacher. Later, I was employed by the government in 1964 as a civil servant within the government. Mm -hmm. In 1965, the government sent me to government training institute, Kabete, to train in administration and personnel management. Because I managed very well uh -huh. in my examination, wow. the government promoted me to an executive officer within the government. Amazing. Yes. Now tell us, um, back then, what was your challenge at school? I like playing football, mm -hmm. athletics, mm -hmm. singing, mm -hmm. and playing with my measurements. So you are you are doing athletics? Yes. Um, uh, were you competing in school, like there's a sports day and you are competing in athletics? M m normally, mm -hmm. I ran three miles and I did very well. Wow. Um, what was the farthest meters that you ever went or run? Three miles. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Um, now tell us, um, Cabinet Secretary of Education, Professor George Magoha, has brought the new system. What is the difference between the system you read and this system that Magoha has brought? During our time, mm -hmm. we learned all the system. Mm -hmm. and and one to eight. That's when we did carpet and eight. Uh -huh. Kenya primary education. After that, you joined the secondary school for four years. After which you joined the university. That was the standard established by the government. Uh -huh. It was followed by the everybody. Uh -huh. Education, you as a secretary, uh -huh. You have established a new system. And the previous minister established his own system. Mm -hmm. The most confusion mm -hmm. means we have in Kenya is education. Mm -hmm. Every minister from his own confusion and the standard oh. of learning. Mm -hmm. That's why we are confused. I wish the government established a standard way of learning 
to be followed by every minister, by every member of parliament, and even education officers. Mm. So that's your regard uh, to the government so that they put an education system which everybody will follow it? That's what I recommend. Um, tell us back then, what activities were you engaging in, like maybe hunting, herding? Yeah, tell us. Or social activities? I'm at home. Uh -huh. I'm a farmer. Uh -huh. I plant crops. <coughs> I rear animals. Uh -huh. I'm a husband. Cows and poultry. Uh -huh. And other uh, domestic animals. Those are my activities currently at home. Uh -huh. Why do you love rearing uh, poultry and uh, kettles? Kettle? Uh -huh. have oxen, they blow. Uh -huh. Cows use the milk, we sell. Uh -huh. And I love cows because I like drinking milk. Uh -huh. And the poultry, uh -huh. they are beneficial, we sell uh -huh. and we eat. Uh -huh. When visitors come, we slaughter herds of them. Uh -huh. They are very happy. Uh, and the uh, cooks are very sweet. Oh. Why, when, why do when visitors come you have to slaughter chicken for them? That's a culture. Oh. How do I kiss the tradition? Mm -hmm. When visitors come, mm -hmm. they must eat very well. Oh. You either slaughter wood, uh -huh. when they are important people, junior people slaughter a cock or a hen. Oh. And they must eat well. We are proud of entertaining visitors. Mm. Uh, tell us, why do you love drinking milk? Milk is mm -hmm. an important uh, food. Uh -huh. It gives the body, it makes you strong uh -huh. and healthy. Sure. Um, there's a time you were awarded by a woman and bonfire adventures. Tell us, uh, what awards were you given? At the fourth adventure, mm -hmm. woman. I was accompanied by my daughter Ruth mm -hmm. and my granddaughter Yaboni. We managed it very well. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I was awarded on your behalf mm -hmm. of my daughter and granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I was awarded a free two day holiday in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. I was happy to fly by plane uh -huh. for the first time from Nairobi to Mombasa. Uh -huh. It was very interesting. I enjoyed the <coughs> staying in a beach hotel. Uh -huh. I ate very well. Uh -huh. They got me very well. Wow. The accommodation was very well. Amazing. Mm. Um, now tell us, how did you feel being recognized as the best mom instead of being recognized as a father? That was the title. Mm -hmm. For the institution, mm -hmm. the institution, the title given is the mother. The competition is the title of the mother. Mm -hmm. So that I, <laughs> eventually, uh -huh. I was uh, uh, titled as a mother. Uh -huh. yeah. How did you feel? I felt very well uh -huh. and, pretty, <clears throat> and happy to be given a, a free holiday to Mombasa. Oh. It was, uh, we, were, we were two of them, two of us, mm -hmm. and we were happy to be rewarded in that much. Um, now tell us, you have 35 grandchildren including me. How do you feel all 35 grandchildren calling you grandpa, granny, Sokoro, and I'm even you calling Sokoro, grandpa, how do you feel? My 35 grandchildren mm -hmm. belong to my 60 daughters and the son. Mm -hmm. I thank God. This is a previous and a wonderful gift from him. Wow. I thank God to give them knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom. Let God open their prayers and minds. Mm -hmm. So that whatever they read, they keep the facts in their head. When you do every examination, they manage well. And I pray for, for them to manage their education standards very well. And they also acquire higher positions. Mm -hmm.
That's why you will have good living and ask God to bless them most abundantly. Amen. Um, um, my mother ruled us at the school room, who is your daughter and is watching us right now. What can you tell her or advise her? I advise my daughter, mm -hmm. Ruth or Sarah, mm -hmm. to work hard in our work, in our education. Let her live in the world. I request God to bless her. Most precious. Mm -hmm. I need God to give her enough, enough health and energy. So that you can manage her and her things very well. I thank God for that precious gift. Oh, amen. Um, could you advise single mothers out there, or even single fathers out there, on how to to live? It's a personal undertaking. Each person has to walk his own way or the other. When you are a single mother or father, you are a single. Because you are alone in a caring for your children. Mm -hmm. You must devote your time and energy in a caring for your children. You must understand you have a duty to care for your children. And other single mothers and uh, fathers, they have their own choice. It's a personal choice and behavior and conduct. Each person chooses his way of breathing and managing his own home. Okay. Um, uh, what was your position in politics? When I joined politics, uh -huh. in 1987, I, com I competed for an as a council. Mm -hmm. In Yangshan Town Council. It was a, a, a stiff competition. Oh. But I managed to be elected as a councillor for Matutu Ward. Wow. And I joined the Yangshan Town Council. Mm -hmm. And I was elected a chairman for five years wow. in Yangshan Town Council. That was one, more, one of the highest privileges in, in politics. Wow. Amazing. I would also like to work hard so that I can be in a very high level than you are. Um, uh, tell us, um, what advice, since we are heading to the general August elections, what advice can you give politicians out there who are maybe um, standing for the president seat, uh, the governor seat, or even the senator seat, or even an MP seat? What advice could you give the politicians out there? Politics. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky event. You join, you want to join it very deeply. You pray for the candidates to campaign very peacefully without causing problems. Others fight, like fighting, you don't like that one. A person wants to be a leader, you don't fight, you don't abuse me. We pray for them to conduct a peaceful election. Which is not, uh, which is not our uh, conflicts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, now tell us, as we're almost completing the show, um, uh, you say that you are a singer. So, uh, can you sing for us a chorus, a little chorus? <coughs> you want uh, me to sing one part? Uh -huh. Bele nina endelea, nina siti kutembea, maombi na uyasikile, e mungu uni nuwe. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So you are a, a very good singer. Yes, I tell, tell us, um, were you singing in church or maybe conferences and concerts? We sing in church as a group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, I, we, when we go to church, we form a choir mm -hmm. and we sing as a group and before what, uh -huh. the, the congregation. And what about in school? Where were you singing in school? In school, we, we, we learned 
We sang as a class and as a group. Mm. And sometimes we learned Christian songs. Wow. And we went to church by our teacher, wow. the, the, uh, the choir master. Mm. He took us to church. We sang wow. for the followers. And they were having happy to receive our music. Ah, amazing. Um, what can you advise my friends, fans and supporters who are listening to us right now? You are proved to be talented. Ask the members of the public to be proud of your achievements. Mm -hmm. Let them pray for you to have good health in your body and in your activities. Let them pray for you so that you, you acquire very well in your activities and in your other things with the media. Mm. Progress. Now, thank you so much. We've seen an exclusive interview. We've learned so much through my grandpa and we've seen uh, what he did, uh, his studies in politics and all that. Thank you so much. I've been an exclusive interview with my best friend, my mentor, my superhero, my granny and uh, I can say he's the best friend I've ever grown with. He's been my mentor. He's taken care of me and also advised me in different ways. I can say thank you so much, Grandpa. I'm proud of you, mm -hmm. who has given me a very intelligent and knowledgeable granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I pray for you. May be with you. May the God give you more achievements and achieve more and more and you climb higher and higher. And you both for achieve the most highest standard. Amen. I shall be very proud of you. Amen. Mm, you are a wonderful granddaughter mm -hmm. and brilliant. Mm -hmm. Let God bless you very highly. Amen. Now we have come to the end of the show and I really enjoyed um interviewing my own grandpa, my mentor, and um, I wanna say thank you so much. And this is Nyaboni Media and I'm known as Princess Precious Nyaboni. Thank you. Sokoro, Cheba, this is Nyabonyi Media. Subscribe. Thank you. So uh, this is Nyabonyi Media. This is Nyabonyi Media. I hope members of the public have enjoyed it very well and you have tried. Oh. Bye. <laughs>